Constantine calls out the member of Sandman's Endless who's actually scariest. John Constantine is one of the most well-traveled characters in the entire DC universe, having met angels, demons, and everything in between. John has directly interacted with both God and the Devil, and even gone on adventures with the Endless. While all of these beings are certainly terrifying in their own way, John has just named the member of the Sandman's family he finds the scariest. John is currently traveling through America on a quest to discover why his heart has stopped beating and his body has begun decaying. While searching for answers, he is confronted by Dream of the Endless, who tells him that a great evil has taken root in America, and John has to stop it. John has met Dream plenty of times before, and was an ally of the previous holder of the title, Morpheus. However this Dream is Morpheus' successor Daniel Hall, and John calls him out as being far scarier than his predecessor, as seen in John Constantine, Dead in America No. 1 by Simon Spurrier and Aaron Campbell. The Endless are immensely powerful beings in the DC Universe. Each one represents some core element of existence. For example, Death of the Endless is the very personification of death and is there for all things at the end of their lives, regardless of how they die. Dream, likewise, is the personification of the very ability to dream and rules over the dream world. The Endless, being incomprehensibly old, have often struggled with their own humanity, which sometimes gives them a cold and terrifying demeanor. While the original Morpheus could certainly be terrifying, his successor Daniel is even scarier. The thing that seems to make Daniel such a terrifying dream is the fact he's not ancient. The original Dream of the Endless was as old as dreams themselves. Morpheus had seen quite literally everything there was to see, and while he could be terrifying, he was mostly just tired. Daniel was once human and hasn't seen nearly as much as Morpheus. For Daniel, it's still thrilling to deal with mortals and help set Dream World right. As John points out, Daniel is far scarier because he's willing to use people as pawns almost happily. While Morpheus could do this, he never enjoyed it, and it often weighed heavy on his shoulders. Previously, the scariest member of the Endless was Desire, precisely because they took so much joy in torturing others. However, Desire plays personal games, while Daniel revels in his own cosmic relevance. Constantine has met just about every powerful supernatural being that DC has to offer, yet despite all the terrors he's seen, Daniel Hall still sends a chill up his spine. Daniel has the power of a literal force of nature, but he still has the memories and personality of a human being. Humans having incredible power is usually a bad idea as their passions lead to horrific consequences, even when they intend the best, one of the many reasons that John Constantine considers the Sandman so much more terrifying than the original. John Constantine, Hellblazer, Dead in America number 1 is on sale now from DC Comics.